What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're gonna do another hard trial. And the next one on the list is Voided High Guard. Um, lots of high guards are one of the most intimidating things you'll ever glimpse in the mire. Put it behind a set of void gates, and most callers will run scared. Not you, though. Today you're feeling brave, foolhardy, but brave. So this is one of the trials where it's a boss, and you don't win by destroying three idols. You win by destroying the boss. So you have to kill the buff to Umasa High Guard to win, and um, begins the game with the protection of three big void gates. And if you don't know what Umasa High Guard is, Umasa Um or Um? I don't know. I say Um, but I think it might be Um. Um, so it's a 624, but obviously this has to be buffed. I'm not sure what it's buffed to. Probably very high, like north of 10 maybe. And any unit facing Umasa High Guard with no units in between gets minus three attack. And so basically, whatever unit is looking at this thing uh, can't move and has minus three attack. So that's it. So it's a pretty strong uh, creature. And the void gates basically mean that we can't break through. And I think the void gates have a ton of healthy dish, so. And the might have also have a ward, I'm not sure. But what I'm going to do for this trial is I think we're going to use the same trials deck that we use to uh, to beat three Arbalisters. Um, I think that might be the best bet to use Horn of Ages and um, Puppet Soldier to destroy the Umlasa. So, let's try it. Let's head right in. Again, the, there will be a paste text in the description below so you can use that deck. And this is my first time trying this trial, so wish me luck. We go first versus Void. Alright, so it's an 8 to 10. I'm not, we're not watching Void, good luck. And these are 7 health Void Yates. And the Void Yates have Ward. Oh, Umasa is a relentless. Okay. So that's pretty darn strong. Um, I don't think it's a good hard against Gardening Hand. Uh, although, Draining Mists are cool. I think I definitely want to uh, have a Puppet Soldier Nutrition. I mean, Puppet Soldier, I mean, Puppet Soldier Horn Rage, or Draining Mist would buy us some time. Um, you know, let's keep it. Let's see what happens. I don't know why I just sacrificed the language. All right. Let's see. My curse, let's get rid of. I'm not sure what other stuff is in Void's deck. Like there's other creatures. Sometimes these boss deck is just this boss. There's Puppet Soldier. I'm gonna save that Puppet Soldier for when I have um, a Horn of Ages. I think I'll I can draw one soon. Let's get uh let's get some order ready when I need it. Let's play Draining Mist. That holds off the onslaught just a bit. So at least it doesn't have ten attack, so it can't really get through the idols. Um, let's go ahead and sacrifice for resources because it's not attacking this turn anyways. And that'll be our turn. Now let's draw. Oh, there is another guy. This is not, this is, now there's an Irva. And this or okay. oh, it has a relentless. So anything that Void plays is relentless. Okay. And Umlas of Hygar is not undead, so that's something to note. And as much as I want to sacrifice for scrolls to see if I can get a Horn of Ages, I think it's just more wise to just go ahead and play an Oblivion Seeker. And hopefully it dies, and maybe that will draw Horn of Ages. Pull it for Diga and stuff. Blight Seed on what that. Alright, so now I draw and another Puppet Soldier. So now I'm more inclined to play a Puppet Soldier. I kind of want to get the Umla. I probably should have put the... The Umla, if it comes off of... I don't know what I'm going to do, actually. Let's see. Let's sacrifice for... Scrolls with the... Eager Scryer. Now there's, uh, there's a Summons. Just do it, see what we can get. Another Puppet Soldier. Whoop. 
what I can do. I'm gonna start by playing a puppet soldier right here. And putting this trison down here. Cause what I can do is maybe I can next yeah, now he's moving down. He moved down, not up. Reapy mass, holy cow. Now what I can do is if I just put a puppet soldier here, then See, even if he moved up, I, would have, I have two Puppet Soldier I can play this turn by sacrificing for more decay, so I can play Puppet Soldier here and here, and then he's forced to attack Puppet Soldier. I put it here, I only have to play one Puppet Soldier. So, yeah. And Horn of Ages might be a little bit more reliable, so I think I'll do that. I'll sacrifice just in case I get it, but I do not get it. And... Oh, you can't move. Okay. Let's put down a Puppet Soldier. And a Loyal... And I can move. And I little darkling. Well, is that game? I think so. <laughs> right? Is the puppet soldier not gonna kill it because it has like the boss? Oh, they killed it. Well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> that was pretty quick. So, uh, that's it from Void. So, guys, if you want to beat this trial, that's pretty darn simple. Similarly to the Arvalicious trial, just gotta get a puppet soldier it could run into. Um, I hope actually, I don't hope actually, I don't know, but I think it's kind of weird that puppet soldier is able to destroy like the warder creatures because it's like such an easy way to beat a lot of the boss trials because they have wards so you can't damage or around dispersal, all that stuff, but puppet soldier is just so easy to kill them with. I didn't even have to use a horn of ages, I just had to trick it into moving down and then place a couple. So uh, yeah. So thank you all for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, remember to submit your top plays to me at earthenjagmail.com, there will be a top 5 plays of the week this Friday, and uh, remember to check the description below if you want to use the deck I used in this video to be that trial. So that'll be it for today, so keep on scrolling, scrollgers.